Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be looking at how we can project a multi-channel pack containing multiple maps onto any 3D model with any UV. This workflow can be used with any of our multi-channel packs as well as our displacement packs. Today we're going to be using a multi-channel faces pack. We're going to be using ZWrap for ZBrush which you can get a 30 day trial for free. And for this video we're going to be using a model that's been provided by Eugene Fokin. You also need ZBrush as well as Photoshop and XNormal which is a free app to bake textures. Right, let's get started. So, open up your folder with your multiple channel face. And what we need to do is find out the dimensions. So right click, dimensions and here they are. Open up Maya, create a plane. can be in any software by the way, you can create um, a plane. And we're going to put up the dimensions. So 87.9 for the width and 53.87 for the height. Bearing in mind these values will change depending on which pack you have. So let's give it 100 by 100. Make sure normalization is off because what we want are UVs that look exactly like this in a square. If it's not in a square, make sure to fix your UVs so they match correctly. Right, now file export selection. I'm going to create a new folder called in and call this plane.obj. This is my head model. These are my UVs and we're going to export this as well, put it in the same folder, call this head. Now it's time to create the texture for ZBrush. Because ZBrush doesn't accept TIFFs, we're going to have to create a low res JPEG. So open up Photoshop and we're going to import our albedo. Make sure in image size that your max width is 8192. Hit OK. For this tutorial, I'm just going to up the exposure so you can see better. Now what we want to do, because ZBrush flips the image vertically, is we're going to do that for him. Save this out as a JPEG. call it low def and hit save. Now open up ZBrush, go into import our head as well as our plane and we're going to append the head that we just made. On the plane we're just going to make this easier by going to display properties and hitting double that way we see both sides of the plane. Now an important step is to make sure the plane is above the head otherwise your zebra app will not work correctly. So now we're going to place the plane in front of the face using the move and rotation tools. Hold shift to make sure it snaps at 90 degrees. Now we're going to add a texture so go to texture map, new texture, click on the white image hit import and we're going to import that low definition image that we created in Photoshop earlier. Now that you've imported your image we're going to scale it to match the face. So I like to turn on the transparency 
and use the move tool and scale tools. to make sure that my map is placed correctly. Just match it up roughly. I'm not going for anything perfect here. Once you're happy with the placement, turn off the transparency and now we can get to wrapping. So we're going to go to Z plugin, Z wrap and start wrap. Your Zerat will launch, and you're ready to start pinning. I like to sync the views, that way it makes everything a bit easier. So we're going to start with the lips by adding a few points. Just copy what you've done on the left to the right hand side. Once you've placed all the points that you need, hit wrapping and this window will come up. And all you have to do now is click start wrapping. Depending on your specs of your computer, this may take some time. Once your wrapping is finished, hit OK and done. And now the plane has been wrapped to the face. So we can come back to the plane and start cleaning up blemishes that we can see with the smooth tool or the move tool. Little tip that we use is that we go down to project and project all to make sure that it really fits the face correctly. I'm going to smooth out the eyelids a bit. Reproject and export each one of these out into my out folder. Great, now that we've done that, we can move on to the next step. So let's open up X normal. And what we're going to do is in high definition meshes, we're going to add a mesh, which is going to be the plane that we exported from ZBrush. We're going to right click again, base texture to bake, and we're going to go into our multi-channel faces pack and grab the displacement for this. Now, in low definition meshes, we're going to right click, add mesh, and we're going to import our head.obj. In the baking options, we're going to make sure that this is at 8K, with the edge padding at 20. We're going to untick normal map and tick on base texture. The anti-aliasing we're going to put at four times and at the output file I'm just going to call this displacement. Now all you've got to do now is click generate maps and it's going to start baking the maps onto your UV. Once your displacement is baked we can do the same thing for the albedo by going back to the high definition, right clicking, base texture to bake, and selecting our albedo. And all you have to do now is go back into the baking options, right albedo, and hit generate maps again. Once 
Once you have both of your maps, we can apply them. If we have a look in Photoshop, we can see that the maps that we've baked have got an alpha channel, which will make everything a bit easier during the cleanup stage. If we look in ZBrush, we can see that the texture that we've baked is almost perfect. You're obviously going to have to go through a cleanup stage with the ears and maybe the nose and filling in the areas with your preferred texturing software. This workflow is quick and easy and you can have fast results. Thank you for watching this video.